Welcome to a quest for metal. That's right, the name has changed back. Quest for metal. We've got a complete reverse. Patreon's back. And we're doing other content. What's going on? Today we're going to power up. Got my Blind Guardian somewhere far beyond the shirt on. Because, you know, we're doing some power metal debut albums and ranking them in a tier list. Because I haven't done power metal in a long time and it's one of my favourite genres. So let's get in with it. Before we do, I'm just going to shout out all my Patreons that I've got. Uh, David. I think it's David, it's D-A-W-I-D, I don't know if it's Dawid, David, I, I, I'm pretty sure you subbed last time when I made one, so again, let me know, because my brain is a sieve. Christopher Knoll, um, who has a YouTube channel as well, so guys, check him out, um, I will definitely put the link down in the description, he's only got two videos at the moment, he's starting out, but check him out, because it's some cool, some cool ranking content on there. So give him a watch and, you know, support him. And we'll probably do some collabs coming up soon. Uh, Martin Napier, Challenger, 9996, and Jamie Horsley. <laughs> Just Jamie. Go, go sub to Discovery Metal Legion. Anyway, Patreon, fun if you want to join it. All that out of the way, let's get in with the Power Metal debuts. Ranking them from Not Heard, C tier, so pretty average, B tier, pretty good, A amazing and s superior superior power metal this is hard because a lot of my by god a lot of power metal debuts are fantastic and these are no exceptions these are all pretty goddamn good watch this is why there's no d tier there's no dog shit tier there's no f tier it's from c onward so let's start with angra with angels cry angra a very underrated band i'd say in power metal um, the guitar work of Anger is fantastic. Ang Angels Cry is probably one of my favourites. Um, it's not my absolute favourite, but it's one of them. Um, I love the vocals with Anger. And um, I'm struggling where to put this. Uh, I, I don't think it's mid. It's one of my favourites, but I don't think I like it as much as some of the others I'm looking at. I just don't. I don't think I like it as much as some of the others I'm looking at. So I feel like B is a good place. B is a good place. Speaking of B, Battalions of Fear by my favourite, my favourite Blind Guardian. Now, Battalions is actually one of my least favourite Blind Guardian albums, but it has that speed kind of metal edge that the debut albums usually have. And it has some kick-ass songs like Majesty on, which live is just so damn good. Oh, Majesty. Oh, so good. It's a fantastic album in its own right, and some people like the earlier stuff more. I like the middle stuff, the kind of imaginations through the other side, Summer Far Beyond, and Nightfall and Middle Earth. Those that trilogy is literally untouchable. I love I love that mid kind of stuff, but I still love the speed stuff, and I still put it in an A. So one of my less liked Blind Guy albums is still an A tier because I still adore it, and it's still higher than like an eight out of ten. I love it. I still love it. Next up is Gamma Ray. I really like this album. I'm tempted to put it on the same level. The vocals in it, so damn good. Kind of reminded me of like Iron Maiden. The, the Gamma Ray early vocals have really reminded me of Iron Maiden. And this is the better artwork because the other artwork where it's just their faces is a bit, is a bit kind of weird. It's probably on the worst metal album covers ever. But this one, well, they changed it, it's got the demon on, pretty good. Yeah, the vocal's fantastic, the solo's amazing. Gamma Ray, one of the best power metal bands alongside Blind Guardian and Angra. You know, all these are the best, come on. Next up is Halloween, Wars of Jericho. Oh, where's this going to go? I feel like I'm putting this into S tier. Wars of Jericho is so damn good. It's one of the best power metal albums ever made. It's so speedy, it's so thrashy, I, I, I love it, I love it, it's pure power metal perfection. Between that, um, and The Keeper of the Seven Keys, part one and two, what a great trilogy that is. What a great trilogy, I, I adore it. It's, it's too good, it's too good. Halloween, um, they pretty much pioneered the genre, so, gotta give it to them. Jagdpanzer, Ample Destruction. This is great as well, do I like it more than... Talons of Fear and Gamma Ray, probably not, but I still really enjoy it. 
it's still a B tier for me. The vocals on here, so Rob Halford-esque, like, shattering the sky levels. Um... Oh, I'm tempted to pump it up. You know what? I'm tempted. It's an A. It's an A. I don't like it as much as Gamma Ray and Blind Guardian, but it's still a classic. It's still classic, and I still love it. Now, Camelot's Eternity is going to go to a C tier. I like Camelot a lot. Um, seen them live, fantastic. But the early Camelot just doesn't do a lot for me. I like the Roy Khan era and the Tommy era the early era it doesn't really do much for me um i love the albums like epica karma those albums are just phenomenal uh but yeah eternity is just not not high on my list i don't think it's i don't think it stands shoulder to shoulder with any of these bands put it that way any of these albums yeah next with primal fear which is the the only one on this list i've not heard i know i know it's part of my list and i didn't I, i've not heard it I've only clicked on this randomly. I didn't make this. So yeah, uh, let me know if I should like it. I probably will. If I like all this, I'll probably like it. But tell me what it sounds like. Tell me what, it's, what it is. I'm pretty sure Primal Fear, I've heard a later album by them. And it was kind of more heavy metal-ish. But yeah, let me know. Next up is The Warning, which I'm pretty sure is an EP. Or unless I'm stupid. Um, No, that's... Oh, it's not EP. That is the debut, isn't it? Yeah. I like this album a lot. I think it's a B tier. Um, I like Anger and More. Queensryche isn't one of my favourite. I think they're more prog than power, but I think the first album is a bit more powery. Um, I do enjoy the first couple of Queensryche albums. After a certain point, they fell off. But this is still in the good era of Queensryche, so... B tier is good. I prefer Anger to Queensryche, so Queensryche's going a little bit lower. Next up is Legendary Tales, which is going straight to S, boys. Oh my god, I love Legendary Tales. This album is flawless. It might be my favourite Rhapsody album. It might be. Swords, dragons, just oh, storming off into the sunset. You can tell my favourite kind of power metal. you got the, the Germans, the Italians, all in the like S and A. I like the European power metal. Some people think it's cheesy. I can do one. I love it. This album... Land of Immortals. Oh, so good. So good. Next up, we have an interesting one. Stratovarius. Now, where do I put this one? Um, It's a lot different to later Stratovarius. I do think it's very good. I do think it's probably the for me. But it just it's just not as good as the later Stratovarius to come. You know what I mean? It just doesn't hold a candle to the latest Rider Varus, but it's still enjoyable, still fun. It's a bit kind of like, um, kind of like Blind Guardian and Queen's Rider, where it's a, a kind of sound change from the early stuff to the later stuff. Faster, heavier, but not as interesting. Not as interesting. Next up, Glory to the Brave, Hammerfall. What a fantastic album this one is. I'll like it more than Yagpanzer. I like it more than Gamma Ray. The debut, mm, maybe, maybe Hammerfall again in that same kind of like swords in the air, fighting some dragons. I mean, look at the album cover. You know it's going to be good. You know it's going to be good just from that. Great vocals, great album overall. Next up is Glory Hammer, the debut by Glory Hammer. That's ah, probably the for me. It's a bit on the cheesier side. Of um, power metal, I'm not big into Glory Hammer. I like some of the songs. It's a bit fun. It's got the Ailstorm keyboardist in Chris Bowles. It's fine. It's not. It's not really as classic as any of these. Come on, it's not. It's not as classic as any of these. It's probably gonna go to C for me. I enjoy it when I'm drinking, but aside from that, it's okay. Next was Power Wolf, which I will. Hmm. Where do I put Power Wolf? I'll probably put it on the same... Mm, do I put it on the same level? Or do I put it there? God, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put it there, actually. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it there. I do enjoy Power Wolf. I don't think the first couple of albums are as good... Actually, I can't put it there. No, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't put it on the same level as The Warning and Angels Cry. What are you doing? Now, I like Power Wolf a lot. I've seen them a couple of times. Fantastic live. But this isn't the album 
that I'd choose for them. You know, the middle era, the later eras are better. More theatrical, catchier. This is a bit darker, but it's not as fun. You know, Blood of the Saints kicks this one. Kicks this one into the next stratosphere. Next up is Sabaton's debut, Primo Victoria. C tier. Probably put it there. I yeah, Camelot's probably last. Probably put it there. I like Power Wolf a lot more than Sabaton. Power Wolf's just it feels like Sabaton, but better. You know, he's got the werewolves. <laughs> Instantly makes it better. Yeah, I just found the vocals in Power Wolf just better than uh, Sabaton vocals. And Primo Victoria is one of my least favorite Sabaton albums. It's good, it's fine, but Carolus Rex is way better. Carolus Rex is amazing. Heroes is amazing. Last Stand, Lane, and Light More. So, yeah, C tier. Not bad. Not great. C tier. Next up, last but not least, Dragon Force Valley of the Damned. Should I get some shit for this? I'm putting this high. I love Valley of the Damned. I think it was one of the first Power Metal albums I ever heard. And I, I adore it. Can I put it into S, though? I'm not going to put it into S, but I will put it into A. Because I love it. You know, if you pass off Dragon Force, go listen to Valley of the Damned. It's phenomenal. Like, um, Disciples of Babylon, with that keyboard solo, amazing. Valley of the Damned song, amazing. I love it. I think it stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Talons of Fear. And Glory to the Brave and Gamma Ray. Um and Yag Panzer. I think I think this is how I would do it. I think this is how I'd do it. Um Yeah, so you got stuff like Power Wolf, Sabaton, Glory, Hammer, Camelot in C, then Angra, Stavarius, Queensryche. Classic bands should be higher, but I could pick other albums by those bands and they would be higher. The debuts are uh, B, B tier for me. I could maybe bump Anger up, but yeah. Stradivarius has way better albums. Queensryche has better albums as well. Most notably, Operation Mindframe. These are some bangers. And then my favourite is Legendary Tales and Wars of Jericho. So good. I, I could even I could even bump Talons of Fear up to make it a bit more even. Because I love Blind Guardian. So, yeah. There you go. Make it a bit more uniform. That is my tier list for Power Metal Bands Ranked. Let me know down below how you would rank them. I'll put the link in the description as well. And uh, go check it out. And we'll see you again on another quest for.